by July, everybody forgot what their New Year's resolution was. Everybody forgot. July? You you putting it back that far? Oh, you feel bro? Episode 16. Yeah, you see talking about we talking about resolutions at the top of the year i try to like figure out what all i need to do different start, like a start off. Perspective. yeah yeah Company. you know reflect on the year and how i spent my energy and see if i need to make some adjustments how strong my circle and my network is what's been adding to the movement and yeah. what's been taken away from it whose time you wasting too things that you really ain't about be real with that situation and be like okay let me pull back off of this because <laughs> okay. i'm too serious about it Sometimes for progress, you got to cut certain situations off, and that's just what it is. Yeah. Not that you don't love it, people, situation, businesses, whatever it may be. It's not mm-hmm. that you don't love it, but sometimes for necessary progress, you need to release that ankle weight. And it's not for everybody to understand, because some people will see it from another point of view. I lost a lot of people who I thought was close to me in the progression of life in general, and it was for the best. A lot of those people are still in the same positions they're in right now and they yeah. look at you and say well you do you did x y and z they, they always going to blame you for multiple reasons why you had to progress in life but bro the only one that can look after you is you That's and that it. could be a resolution right now you know like look yeah. after self one of the best That's advice self. they got from my kid's grandmother she was like mm-hmm. save some save some of yourself for yourself no one gonna love you more than you. That's a fact. Nobody understands you the way you understand you. Another good resolution is to not listen to too many people's opinions. I mean, it might be good advice, but it's good advice based on the type of life they know, they experience, yep. they yep. grow up yep. with. You know what yep. I mean? It's not yep. really based on your life experience, what works mm-hmm. for you. Every man sees God for himself. Yep. Every one of us unique, which means that God judges you different than he judging me in real life. You have to realize that. You the curator, you the orator, you the narrator, you the orchestrator Man, of, you the of your own journey. The engineer of your life. And some people get offended when I say this. It doesn't matter if you're in a relationship. It doesn't matter if you're married. It doesn't matter if you ain't married. You still have to answer for self. Now, you have to still take in consideration of those that's depending on you for X, Y, and Z. Yeah, for sure. To a certain degree. Sure. But you still have to look out for self. Not in a selfish way, but in a way that's going to keep you above ground. Because once you start failing self, you're no good to nobody. Yeah, I, I was just listening, just listening to a conversation. And I keep on hearing different names called, right? like this person do this. You were dreaming this or this in real time? This is real time. Happened. time. Okay, this is real time. I just, I just, but I'm just listening to yeah. the conversation. A mm-hmm. bunch of names being called except for the name of the person who was talking. And I was like, why all of these different names in your mouth relative to your life? What choice did you make? And a choice mm-hmm. to listen to other people is a choice that you make that affects your life. Absolutely. So you can't blame the person who you listen to. You blame you for listening mm-hmm. to them. Take responsibility buddy, for your choices, the choices you made. and the thing- Accountability and responsibility. Yeah. A lot of people that made resolutions say 2022, 2021, 2020, and so on and so forth leading up to this point. Mm-hmm. Just imagine if you were... Now, me personally, like I said, I don't stick to the resolutions. I, I, I go hard... All year round. But just imagine right. if you had stuck to that one New Year's resolution by now, where you would be. If you would stick to it right now. We're on a new year right now. But let's say you made this New Year's resolution last year, January 2021. Now, just imagine if you stick to it. This is our mm-hmm. fast time in life passed by. Just mm-hmm. like that, bro. We, we now in 2023. I, I could I could remember when COVID first come in and shut everything down. Now it's like COVID don't even exist by the common goal now. Bro, let me let me tell you something, bro. I had to get tested to right. fly out of the US, right? Uh-huh. I had to get tested to fly to fly back in. It was nothing. Hmm. It's nothing. I and trust me, I went to the clinics over there in Nicaragua and Costa Rica and stuff. And the, I was about to pay $150. But they said, listen, you're a US citizen, you need to get tested. You you can just go. But it, it just goes to show me how the importance of what they tried to put on COVID in the beginning is no longer there. Nobody was masked up. Right. You know, I was traveling on, you know, but for me, okay, I, re- I rent cars and everything when I'm out of town. But for me, I like to engrave myself into the culture. Right. Okay. So, mm-hmm. so when I say engrave myself into the culture, I'm taking public buses. 
I'm doing all of that because I ain't going across the globe to be acting like I'm here in the U.S. Mm. And I was around, I talk about it, trust me, their street markets out there is way different than any street market here. Way different, bro. I'm talking about people all over the place, bro. And ain't nobody sick. Mm. And I ain't got sick. Mm. Not one time. I ain't wearing no masks. No, I ain't saying everybody got to go hard like me. Maybe your immune system ain't like mine. I don't know. So don't take what JP say with a grain of salt. You go somewhere and drop dead and say, I said so. That's the that's negative. Right. <laughs> but yeah, bro, like, New Year's resolution, man. You know, if, if you're going to make one, try to at least stick to it, man. Whether it be losing weight, changing your financial situation, dropping a dead weight from a relationship. Mm-hmm. It, it can be a lot of different things, but at least try to stick to it, man. A good resolution is to, to follow through. The day is, is the the Chinese New Year, I believe. Year, yeah. And this year is supposed to be the year of the... Year of the rabbit. The year of the rabbit, therefore, is expected to promote strengthened bonds with loved ones, as well as expanded connection with friends, families, and colleagues. It is even considered auspicious to start a family in 2023. Auspicious, yeah. that's a big word. Conductive to success, favorable. Conductive, so yep. go make some babies. Favorable. The devil is a liar. Yeah. Hell no. Well, look who decided to join us late. A good doctor. Doctor, this is this what you did into. Is there a doctor it, in the house? It, it, is this a good time to have to have babies? What? Is that, is that a good time? <laughs> <is, laughs> what are we talking about today? It's always a good time to practice. No. Well, no. Yeah, but this, the year the tiger was practice. That was last year. The year of the rabbit is business. You know how rabbits go. But resolutions. All right, yes. Google. Let's get the dictionary definition. Yeah. See what Oxford is saying. Since you make it a party, you go ahead and let. I'm not a big resolution person. Boy, we just said. My, my, we both, my, we both my, just said that before you put it on. But here's the thing, though. I recognize that some people need that. People I directly <laughs> work with, some of my clients who I coach, we, we constantly making goals and trying to achieve goals. But, I mean, the new year is a good time to reflect. It's a good time to examine what happened in the past year with, with all your separate goals. I try not to re-intensify myself every 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 twelve months. I try to I try to be intense every day. At the very least, at the very least, every Monday. I think you need to consistently reevaluate whatever it is you're doing. I think you need to consistently, maybe not your best critic, but you need to be your first critic. You know what you're saying or what you're pointing to. If I'm to figure it out all on my own, is a big big goal. That can possibly be a five-year resolution, you know, your five-year goal. And weekly, you try to reevaluate if you're hitting your milestones in order to make it to that to that big picture goal. The answer your question is yes, but it can be again, like you said, a big goal. Like my new, a New Year's, somebody's New Year's resolution could be to be a millionaire this by the end of this year. I don't know, my one of my family members told me once, I'm going to make a million dollars this year. That's what he said. Okay. And he did it. All you right. You know what I mean? So, so I'm saying that could be a resol, uh, uh, like you said, a big goal, a big resolution. But a resolution doesn't always have to be a goal. A resolution could just be a change in behavior. And usually that behavior will, that change leads you towards another goal, whether you set that goal or not. It right. sets you on the path, the path at least sets you on a path to the way you want to live or the person you want to be. So a resolution doesn't always have to be some type of final goal, like I'm going to make a million dollars this year. That doesn't have to be a resolution. A resolution could be I'm going to make smarter financial choices. You understand what I mean? So that's yep. that's a that, that's an action that leads to a bigger goal. You may make a million dollars this year, you may not. But the, the point is you made that change. Right. And it's usually based on some type of reflection, some type of reflection, some type of education some new information maybe some education some reflection what some about experience. my feelings what about my feelings i gotta interrupt you right there now personally as men we shouldn't <laughs> feel <laughs> <laughs> what type of anti hold on hold on now. hold on hold on follow me on this now follow okay. me on this. i'm following we we should we we we, we should know we should be absolute with what we need to do, what we have to do, when we need to do it, and how we should go about doing it. 
when you will win, once again, people are still paying the JP. This is not necessarily a flex on. I got to talk. It's not necessarily, necessarily it's, a flex on the thoughts of, of Kent Bazaar or Tyson Knight or Paul Show too, so you reflect it. You reflect what JP right. say on this show. <laughs> I try not to feel too much because feeling, in my opinion, leads you wrong. I try to stay logical to the core. I'm a little different now, but you can't get now. I'm a little, I'm a little strange. I, I don't pretty much feel too much because when you jump into the realms of feelings, mm -hmm. you're almost to the point where you get me emotional. And by getting emotional, in my opinion, you can't think straight. So to answer your question, Bla, you should know exactly what you need to do. The absolute way. That's the same thing with the million dollar journey too. You have to know exactly, you, to know. you know, how you can't you're you going to make this happen. Yeah. Like it's not I feel these things. When you when you sit and think to yourself and really tap into what's going on within you or what needs to be done, you know, know what's going to be the outcome. Right? Yeah, you mean to tell me when you was pursuing what you what you achieved right now in life, you didn't know you was going to get to this point? For the most part, yeah. Dyson, because Very aware of that possibility. when you are absolute about any situation. You're not taking no law. You ain't hearing nothing but what but, but they got to say over here. You ain't hearing nothing but they got to say over there. You, you right here. Mm -hmm. You focus on your goal. And nothing's going to stop you until you achieve that goal. So that is not a feeling. That is something that you knew was going to happen. When, when you feel a situation, if you're feeling too much about the situation, you need to let that go. That, that's a conflict, in my opinion now. That's a conflict within self that's not good for you. But let's let's break down knowing it gotta be something real and attainable. You already have the vision, you already have to know how I'm gonna at least try X, Y, and Z. It take yeah. me to now I know my ABC, won't you come and sing with me? It just get you to that end point, having that plan. You know, a lot of people sit down and write down their resolutions, they put down the vision board. Can't be trying to get me to do that, bro. I'm not good for that. My, my, most of my vision board up here. I have, bro, I, listen, I'm not good, but like... That's a good contrast right there. I would probably need a vision board as I get up in age because I forget foolish. I forget full bar, right? And, and, <laughs> and I know Ken to be a disciplined person. So if he says vision board in his head, he, he got that locked in. He's not going to forget. He's not going to straight that, that set. But a person like me, I put my vision board in my head it's almost like me coming up with a song on the ride and i don't sing it into my phone when i'm thinking of it i say oh i can remember that when i get home yeah. i sure that that clever i like that the minute that's i walk that car you that, that's when your hair switch back to black boy that's the song they rock is say you cutting off feelings you about to be the dudes who cut off all their feelings and take think the world is a we call of duty let me reframe that before a swat come knocking out my door at three o'clock nice. in the morning but i mean it's not cutting off your feelings if i may try the point of it making is what is a reasonable resolution or what is a reasonable goal yeah. and you're saying that you shouldn't use your feelings i think that's what dyson's right. point was you shouldn't be basing your goal on how you feel per se and the point that one is making is that you have to be careful with yes. feelings the small side point we're making is as men you can't be dominated by your feelings you can't be guided by your feelings you can't be controlled by your feelings because that is the that's the guy who's going to go and shoot up the place because uh, uh, somebody talked somebody hurt his yep. feelings so he's going to yep. go and shoot up the school because somebody hurt his some girl break his heart or hurt his feelings some people make him feel like like he's don't belong or something like that so people who are not in control of their feelings tend to um, uh, do weird stuff so that's really the point that we're making when it, when it comes to resolutions now what one is going to was going to correct if i may be so bold um feelings do exist but you have to be able to recognize what they are and what they mean and then act accordingly of course always using logic and common sense so I could feel like I'm supposed to be rich. Every wife feel like they deserve the best husband. Every, every man feel like they deserve the best female, whatever. We all feel like we deserve or we feel like we should have these things. You can feel that all you want. Yeah. So you can make a resolution to be a millionaire. The reason my brother could have made that resolution is because he positioned himself and he worked himself to that position to say, hey, I can make a million dollars this year. I live my life by one rule. If something comes up my mouth, it has to happen. It's scary. 
It is scary, bro. It means you're very careful about yeah, what you say. You gotta be very careful what you say. And and I and, and there's power in the tongue. So, I the, so I'm, 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 just, I'm just gonna go around saying I could be a millionaire this year. I could be a millionaire this year. I'm not gonna say that without knowing I position myself mm-hmm. and I put in work and I have the background, I have everything set up mm-hmm. to say, okay, this is my year to cross that that seven figures. No disrespect to anybody, but if you're a packing boy, if you're pumping gas and you say you can make a million dollars this year, you ain't position, bro. Unless you're playing the lottery or something, you're not position. I like the way the word resolution is defined in music. If you don't know music, it might be a little confusing, but it says the passing of a discord into a concord during the course of changing harmony. To simplify that, that's when a song builds up and is about to go a certain place. And then it touches that certain place and then it resolves itself back to point one. So the resolution of it is is when it it turns back and comes back to its base harmony, the tonic chord. If the key is in G and you're going all over the place and then you come back to G, but it's relative to what you were just explaining, Kent, is that a resolution isn't the start of the journey. The resolution is the end of the journey. So when you make a New Year's resolution, you're being prophetic in your speech. That's how powerful and, and how strong strong minded you have to be in the resolution that you make is that you have to say that this is what's going to happen because you already say I'm going to do all of these things or I am doing all of these things which is more JP type run I'm already doing these type things yes. and this will resolve the resolution of this is going to be my million dollars be my summer body the start of my new business the resolution of this you already have the not just the plan but you know what pain and what progress needs to take place for that resolution to come true just be more serious about it be careful what you say out your mouth don't just throw no resolution out there right. this year I ain't, I ain't never talking to this nigga no more <laughs> you ain't change your number you ain't block the person you ain't this you ain't do it. you have to be careful what you say if you ain't ready a lot of people just bullshit with that word to begin with resolution a lot of people that say it because it sounds cool johnny Ferry, more april may june july and yeah. they jump on it yet. i think people just believe it but then they fail at it and they wonder you know why you keep having year after year you're not meeting these goals yeah. and it's because you ain't positioning yourself in order to win a lot of people rely on god to pull them through mm. but what they fail to realize mm. is that god is willing to pull you through but your bitch ass gotta put in work if you just on some my Lord will pull me through and you don't do nothing to work your way towards that, then guess what? It ain't happening. That level of faith is bizarre. It's bizarre. Be- because, oh. because of two things, you know, if your faith is that strong, yeah. like if you're that worthy, stuff really happens for you. Like you put your foot on the water and you stand. But I want to see you try it. Because- we, we, we know my personal yeah. spiritual belief here. In the creation of all things, there's a method to how it was done. We call it miracles because we don't understand how it's done. But the minute we, we we understand how it's done, it's no longer a miracle. God just that deep. We know we have a big brain. We only use on a small percentage of it. If in fact your faith is that strong, then you automatically put in the work. That is a powerful form of understanding what, what faith is. Faith is so powerful that you can say, I'm going to get a job. So... You sit down and you look what is available, which job the the Lord have for you. You call a few places. Let me go and send my application here, there, there, and there, there. And then you check your mailbox. Today is the day I'm going to get this job. And there so happened. Ah, you get the job. But you get the job because your faith took you along that journey. What throws me? Prophesying that so-and-so is going to this. And then so-and-so takes taking that prophecy and and then saying, okay, someone prophesied to me and said that I would X, Y, and Z. I guess it works because you you end up believing it. Like you have to hear it from somebody else. I I would like to continue your your example with music. Guys, no, I'm I'm grade five, classical music. Once you reach the resolution, the song usually... (laughs) I grade three, I don't care. (laughs) Hey. No, well, oh, okay, like, nice hey, hey, he old opera ass nigga. Go ahead, yeah, bro. Go ahead, man. No, 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 but hey, music, mathematics, all these things connected. Go when you reach the resolution, you finish your refrain, you come back to the beginning. That's it. The song ends. So or the song is approaching its ending. Right. 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 The only way you're gonna get more of the song <laughs> is if there's a is if the author created the next movement. That's right. the end of it. People don't see it that way. Mm-hmm. The same thing I said about 
Well, something that come out of my mouth. So if I said this year I'm going to lose 10 pounds, that's it. And there's a couple parts to that. So there's the, there's the before and there's the after. So the before part, we, we, we touched on briefly. Not only do you have to set yourself up, two, you have to be able to evaluate yourself and make sure that your resolution, one, is something that's achievable and something that makes sense. It's got, it's got to be something that you can do. And then after that, you now have to conduct yourself in a manner that is appropriate to the resolution that was set. And you can't deviate from that behavior. So I can't be saying I'm going to, I'm, I'm losing 10 pounds, which is right. one of the most common, which is the most common resolution. Yep. The most common New Year's resolution. Losing yep. 10 pounds. It's getting in shape. It's getting in shape. And, and not even getting in shape. Losing 10 pounds. Yep. That's the most common one. Right? So getting in shape, yes. But <laughs> specifically losing 10 pounds, that's the most common fitness goal. Right? So once you say that, you can't continue the same behavior, the same habits. You can't even sometimes hang around the same places or people that you used to. Take that part again right there. You may have to change certain things about yourself. Absolutely. The way you eat, if it's talking about diet, health, that nutrition, part. you got to change your bodily habits, your activity habits. You may need to change your behavior. You may need to change people you hang around. Mm -hmm. You may need to change places you go. You may need to change things you do so that you achieve your resolution when we fail you said why we fail because we don't want to give those things up that's why we fail that's the main reason we fail yeah as soon as soon as soon as as the the crossroad come and you say hey am i gonna smoke or am i gonna study or am i gonna read this book am i gonna uh whatever am i gonna waste time over here with these guys or am i gonna do my work am i gonna be on time for work more often or am i just gonna party every night and drag into work. When it comes to that crossroad, we usually choose whatever we were doing last year and the year yeah. before that and the year before that yeah. and the yeah. year before that. Familiar. That's, that's, that's what happens. That's what happens. I, so, so yeah, so, so you got you to conduct this. You, you may, if you don't change your habits, if you don't change your behaviors, if you don't change those precipitating factors, the environment, you doomed to fail, or you doomed to repeat whatever it is you're trying to avoid. Yeah, right, right, right. I go in through the, these um, other Oxford definitions relative to different <clears throat> disciplines in medicine. It says the disappearance of inflammation or of any other symptom or condition. Result. And then they have oh, complete remission it? was defined as resolution of clinical evidence of disease. You go ahead and explain that, Doc. That means the same thing we just said. Mm -hmm. There's no trace. If there's trace, it ain't resolved. If you still have any symptoms, it ain't resolved. If you have a wound there and it's still um, inflammation and changes going on in the skin, it's not resolved. Let me use Warren's <laughs> method of explaining because you are still a little bit confusing. You're still doing the same old BS. Since this is my words, Mr. Dyson, I can say it. <laughs> yes. I, I, just, I just realized something specific about the medical definition. Uh -huh. With the medical definition, you're talking about evidence of whatever it mm -hmm. was. That's a good key to measure yourself or uh, evaluate yourself. Mark is talking about accountability. You can't even begin to fathom accountability if you can't evaluate yourself. Right. If you cut yourself and you can't determine whether you still cut or not, you can't be accountable. You have to determine that there is no evidence present of that disease. Then you right. can say it's resolved. So if I said I'm going to quit smoking marijuana or whatever it is, if I say I'm going to quit smoking, I can't have cigars on my on my on my dress. But can't what's wrong with marijuana? It's um, not on the dress. Yeah. This one show a monkey wrench right there. But go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. But evidence. The, the point. The point is. So it's so not. so what I'm saying is, as far as your resolution, as far as your resolution is concerned, it's really easy to know if you have a million dollars or not. It may not be easy to know if you're exhibiting or using good financial habits or not. You may not know. So what is your evidence? What is your key measuring factor to say that hey? I am now more financially disciplined. I'm making better financial choices. I'm making better health choices. Because next year, what are you going to say? I'm right. going to lose another thing. Down. What are you going to say? For some people, it's a scale for weight. For people with hypertension, it's blood pressure, right? The point I'm making is evident. And I can move on to the, to the chemistry perspective of resolution. And this reads the process of reducing or separating something into its components. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Organize yourself. If you say my resolution is to lower my blood pressure, you have to, again, break that down into different behaviors. What is causing your blood pressure? Is it your diet? Yeah. Is it your activity? Is it your smoking? 
Is it your obesity? What is it? And what are causing those things? It goes back to what I said earlier. A lot of people make resolutions and promises, but don't try to address what they have to do to make that thing happen. They just go ahead and say it and expect for it to magically happen. Physics. Mm -hmm. And this is, it, it sounds, I don't know. I, I may I may be the dumb one. It, it's, it's a bit confusing to me. The replacing of a single force <laughs> or other vector quantity by two two or more jointly equivalent to it. So I see it again. The replacing of a single force or other vector quantity by two or more jointly equivalent to it. Two things equivalent to the single force. <clears throat> so this, again, is talking about breaking stuff down, which I feel kind of reiterates that your resolution needs to be attainable. You need to have the resolving power, the smallest interval measurable by a scientific, it says, especially optical instrument. So the resolving power in physics. Now, physics is, you know what physics is. Yeah. Physics is, is, is physical things, movement, force. We're talking about propelling self towards a successful resolution. And it says that you take that single force, which is yourself. You don't change yourself. It says placing your single self into two or more jointly equivalent to self. So it's still self. Yeah, it's still yeah. It's crazy how different disciplines really speak into the same thing. That's how you know you're really on the right, you're, you're on target. And that's what we mean when we say we're not into new years resolutions we're not saying that we're not into resolutions you know right we're saying that we're not into doing it every 12 months right yeah something like that what we're describing right now all the stuff dyson described and all the stuff that we're talking about is not a 12 month activity it's not something you do every 12 months every 12 months you could reevaluate you can take a look yeah. and say, okay because time is really a social construct right so so we could we could go ahead at least a year in a social construct mm -hmm. right so we you go ahead and say, let me reevaluate what happened over this period. It could be a week. Every time I come off this show, my Sunday evening is me going through my to-do list, evaluating everything I did or didn't get to do, thinking about why I didn't get to do it, planning up, planning up my week. Whatever I have booked, I book it. Whatever I, is a possible booking, I try to clear, you know what I mean? Set up my schedule and plan out whatever it is I'm supposed to be planning out for the week. That's what I do on Sunday evening. That's what I do. I ain't doing that on, on a Sunday evening. That sounds stressful. No, man. No, but, no, man that, that's that's good for you, though. That's really Kudos. nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I got to agree with you on that. I'm not doing that on a Sunday evening, sir. That, 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 that's, I can do that on my big morning. Listen, <laughs> while I'm doing that, I got one of these. Okay. I'm, wa I'm watching Star Trek, or I'm watching, because I love Star Trek. So I'm watching Star Trek, or I'm watching Law and & Order, and, oh, and I got oh, one of these. Oh, girls. And most of the time, or Johnny Bravo, and most of the time, I do I do that on my phone, you know. I don't, I don't have a whole oh, thing. Yeah. thing. So most right, time right, right. So it's, 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 come on now. Come on now. Yeah. Now, when you mm. see Monday, mm. Monday's a different story. <laughs> Monday, <laughs> right, right, Monday, right. Monday, I'm here in the office, or I try to be. Like, my wife is out, or is asked me to come into bed, which is sometimes usually failed. Mm. <laughs> yeah, my. Do it. T -M -I. Every time, um, every time she says come in the bed, whatever I was trying to do is to fail. All right? <laughs> you know, come in the bed means she had a rabbit. Yeah, she had a rabbit. Yeah, yeah, had a <laughs> rabbit. That ship sailed. That ship sailed a long time. Anyway, anyway, anyway. anyway. What, I'm saying is, <laughs> what I'm saying is, this is not a 12-month <laughs> I got you. It's not, it's not a 12 month thing. By July, everybody forgot what their New Year's resolution was. Everybody forgot. July? You you putting it back that far? On I'll, February, I'll right. By yeah, February. Yeah. yeah, people don't make the three yeah. month mark. People don't make the three month I get mark. But, but get okay, up. so in, in conclusion, I want to, we all, we, we said that the number one resolution for New Year's um, in the world is uh, fitness. Yeah. <clears throat> it takes three months of consistency mm -hmm. in order to see. Results. All of you who are on this fitness journey for New Year's, keep in mind that you have to be consistent. I don't know. What do they got to do? Three, three, four days a week? Can't two, two days a week? How do you start? How do you? Let's encourage the, the number one resolution. 120 minutes per week is what's recommended by the American Heart Association of, of moderate 
activity. That's two hours a week. Weight loss itself is specific to each person, right? The most important factor about weight loss is not how often you work out, or how long you work out, not even how hard. The most important factor for weight loss is maintaining what's called a caloric deficit. It's really easy to be broke, right? So you take that same formula and you apply <laughs> that to weight loss. It's really flex easy. It. Flex it's really it. easy to be yeah, broke. Boy, you flex this whole show. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> it's really easy to be broke. Just spend right, a bunch right, of money. Right. Just spend money on whenever you see something, buy it. Don't even think about it. That's why you stay broke. That's the same way you lose weight. You have to make sure that your income is less than your output. Your output should be more than your income. Right. Yeah. The energy you're putting out needs to be more than it, than the energy you're taking in. You're taking in. Yes. So you don't necessarily have to burn the equivalent of 3,000, 5,000 calories. You don't necessarily have to do that. Some people have enough discipline to consume very little calories so they could right. get themselves in a deficit without changing their activity at all. Some people can do that. The last idea I had was to poop more than I eat. That would like okay all right cool um so <laughs> so but I, I had a quick quick very very quick question put out put out more more than you take in <laughs> so is a poop more than you eat i have a question maybe we could do this on the tiktok reels but I notice in my running apps, it says, you know, warm up segment, calorie loss segment, and then it has a fat burn. And the fat burn segment is always be this little tiny little thing. Um, but, but I was wondering if it depends on the cadence of my running patterns or whatever. So I think we should do that. You, you guys follow uh, Dr. Kempazad, um, follow Empire Fitness, um, especially on TikTok. Um, I don't think Juan is on TikTok, but definitely if you need wood flooring done. I am not on TikTok, sir. If you need some wood flooring done, he's the best in Florida, only because, you know, the rest of the, rest of, the, rest of the United States don't really... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Just... Point of order, Your Honor. Go ahead. The best of the universe. Best... <laughs> The best in the universe. Yeah. Carry on. So, so make sure, make sure you have minutes, because wherever you are in the universe, you need some wood floor and done. You want this the best? Time. Yeah, do we the have best me talk with the best of Florida, bro? Oh, 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 Hayden, Hayden Dyson Knight broke. You need the to show me the universe, bro. The Cosmo. <laughs> you need to show me this work truck where it take you to Pluto to put down floors. <laughs> Small things. So you make sure that you that you follow this the something show page uh as well. And let's see what the next topic is gonna be like. And y'all have a wonderful 2023. Now that's my pre that's my pre-ending. But you guys say say a last word before I really say thank you all. God bless you. Good night. Pick me, pick me, pick me. Mm, yeah, man. Come on, pass it. Okay, yeah. This, so here we go. Listen, guys. People are here. Every five years of your life, you should change. There should be a progression in every, I don't care if you're a male, in all seriousness, I don't care if you're a male or a female. Every five years of your life should be a change. If you, you stay with the same progression, you're not getting no further in life, man, okay? Every five years, you should either be more financially stable, you should be a different position in your life, you should not stay at a standstill. That's the biggest killer of any resolution, in my opinion. Okay? okay. We all need to be going hard from day one, year round. I, I understand that everybody doesn't have that mindset. I also understand that everybody doesn't have the, the, the drive to do that. But speaking from a man's perspective, we don't have time to waste. Mm. You know what I mean? Life is short. Yeah. Time is short. <clears throat> you know, a lot, a lot, a lot like this, things can end. Okay? So you, you have to get it now. You have to get it now. Um, You got to do what it takes. You know, don't listen to what people think. Don't listen to what people tell you. Now, if you're a person that's not motivated to go and get it yourself, then by all means... Look to uh, Tyson Knight, the Kent Bazaar, JP. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> to, to, to get your motivation on. But you owe it to yourself. And I, 
I only speak it from a perspective of my because females they do it differently. So you know, I'm advocating for men here. You owe it to yourself to get your life in order. You owe it to yourself to get more out of life. You owe it to yourself to get on your purpose and realize what you were born <laughs> to do. You wasn't put on this earth just to bullshit your whole entire life away. Real talk. You know, you know and, and also you have to realize that we as men, we don't come into our own, into ourselves until we like in our 30s and 40s. Mm -hmm. But if you are in your 30s and 40s and you still don't know where that rest of your life is going, you need to step, you need to take a step back and analyze what's going on in your life. Because we don't have we don't have much time left to get it right. Yeah. Real talk. Like if you're 40 something years old right now, like I'm 46, okay. I don't have 10 more years to waste to figure out this whole shit on, on, on how to get it right. You're supposed to be doing that when you're in your 20s and 30s. So at this point, you are your way. And at right. this point, I can't say I, I still personally haven't arrived. I never arrive. I don't want to arrive. Because the minute we arrive is when you stop trying. Mm. There's always more and more and more for you to achieve. And I don't want to hear no bullshit talking about, oh, it's hard. My nigga, we know it's hard. It ain't supposed to be easy. Who, 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 who the hell told you it's supposed to be easy? We know that for fuck. <laughs> if it was easy, everybody would be doing this. Yeah. yeah. That's what everybody, bro. We have lions, saying. we have lions, and we have lambs, okay? Everybody can't be a lion, because if there's too many lions, we'll kill each other. We'll kill each other if there's too much lions. We need to eat them lambs, <laughs> so to speak. So, at the end of the day, are you a lion or are you a lamb? I'm a lamb. No, I'm kidding. I'm a lion. My brother Kent, lion. I said, night. Lion, we don't just hunt. We hunt, we kill, we eat, rinse and repeat all day, every day. Yeah. All right. Make tools with the bones. <laughs> Use everything. <laughs> we, 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 everything. The eyeballs, everything. Everything. <laughs> everything, bro. So my advice to every young man, middle-aged man, whether you successful, I don't know what level your life, make today the day that you make that change because it starts from now stop procrastinating you did that in 2022 you did that in 2021 you still didn't get what you deserve yet or what you was born to do All right so ride that bull kill that bull eat that bull and get what's rightfully yours and I'm going to leave it there I can't. JP already did the altar call. I guess you collect an offering. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, we're not we're not having a religious conversation today, but <laughs> one of the most common messages you hear in the uh, New Year's service, you know, the, the watch night service, one of the most common messages you get that night. In many different churches, is um, you're gonna step into this is your year of something, or you're gonna or you're about to step into something, right. and it's usually something, usually something positive, and usually something um, very exciting. And and there's, and there's nothing wrong with with receiving motivation, but I, I read something um, a few weeks back <clears throat> that said that. Motivation is overrated. Mm. Mm. Okay. And the reason why the reason why it is right to say that motivation was overrated is because motivation, he said, requires some type of uh usually requires some type of intrinsic activity most yeah. of the time. Sometimes mm. it's extrinsic, but most of the time, even if there's an extrinsic factor, meaning outside of you and your mm. control. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, motivation is based on what your internal response is. Mm -hmm. And your, your internal response is has so many conditions. So what this writer was saying was that 
Screw your conditions, bro. So cool. screw motivation. Cool. If you have something to do, do it. Period. You don't need no motivation. He said, listen, you get up every day, <laughs> go to work to make money for somebody else, whether you motivate it or not. Mm -hmm. That person get money. Mm -hmm. So if you apply that same concept, that one little behavior, if you apply that one little behavior to yourself, you will see such a big difference in all these little resolutions we put together every year. Powerful. You know what I'm saying? So the point I'm going to close out with is, remember, resolutions are not one-offs. All right? Mm -hmm. It's not a one-off thing. Mm -hmm. It's not... I'm gonna do this oh, next year, disappear, and then 2024. I'm 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 gonna my new year's resolution is this, right? If you right. may have resolutions like that as far as you know, I'm not talking to this person this year. All right, fine. That's 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 I don't count small stuff for that. I'm talking about serious stuff, right? right? Yeah. So <clears throat> so like we said earlier, you have to make sure that you were positioning yourself for that resolution. We, mm -hmm. we went through a few different definitions of how resolution, the term resolution is used in different aspects, mm -hmm. right? So you have to prepare each one of them, reference um, a before phase, a phase before the resolution, mm -hmm. and, a, and a phase or action after the resolution, okay? Yeah. So even if you don't have the before part, even if this is the first time you, you never exercise, you never eat right, you never try to solve smoke because you say, I'm going to stop this year. That's fine. That's mm -hmm. fine. You mm -hmm. got to have the after part, though. Mm -hmm. have the after part. And we right. also talked about breaking that re resolution down. So if your resolution is to stop smoking, or let's just say your resolution is to stop simping, mm -hmm. but that's another talk. <laughs> that's another conversation. <laughs> but if you're... Hey, hey, uh, hey. Niggas so don't never... <laughs> niggas so never... Niggas so never make that resolution, boy. That, that's it. Simple as You know, I make it We'll talk about that next week. But um, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good resolution. But if that's your resolution, you're going right. to break it down into the things that cause you to be at this position you're trying to get away from. Mm -hmm. So, what caused me What caused me to be in this position? Wasting right. time, wasting money, uh, 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 not being disciplined, you know, not getting enough rest, not eating right, not exercising, whatever. Right. You got to break those down. You got to, sorry, you have to identify and evaluate those. When we talk about the cut and the wound, you have to identify those, evaluate it. Mm -hmm. Then you have to come up with actions, mm -hmm. counter actions for those things. Mm -hmm. Okay, I wasn't exercising. I'm going to, I'm going to do, I'm going to exercise 120 minutes a week in January. In right. February, it's going to be 200 minutes. Yeah. And in March, it's going to be 300 minutes. And mm -hmm. you see, that's why the resolution isn't year to year. That's exactly what right. I'm saying. That's right. why the resolution isn't year to year. Mm -hmm. So, so again, you come up with your actions that based on your resolution, and you execute those actions. And then you have to measure now, and you have to be able to evaluate, like, like the medical definition. Once it has resolved, you need to be able to identify okay, this has resolved. This person is no longer in my life. That's how I know I executed my resolution. Right. I, know I, have more, I have more money January 2024 in my pocket than mm -hmm. I had in January 2023. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, that's my evaluation. Right. Because I made a resolution a couple of years ago. I used to be broke every January. And I said, I'm not doing it anymore. I used to be broke every January. Bro. Every January I used to be broke. No money. <laughs> wait, January is like six months long though. January is, <laughs> January is so long. You know what I mean? Bank calling you, everybody calling where money. Yeah. Goes. You understand what I mean? Yeah. I said, listen, this is gonna stop. Yeah. This yeah. is gonna stop. Enough yeah. for that. And I made it stop. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. Yeah. So so again, so again, um, the US resolutions are not one offs. Make sure you can make sure you can identify, evaluate, make sure you make your plans, make sure you execute your plans, make sure you measure your success, and make sure you don't rely so much on the concept of motivation. Right. Make sure you <clears throat> set your behaviors, you execute your behaviors. Full stop. That's discipline. That's all right. Discipline. Yeah. Agree. We're gonna see you guys next week. We definitely shall. And until then.
Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.